Hey there ladies and gents, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Drew and this is a ruler. Apologies for the wait as I tried to find a random object on my desk to kick this vlog off with. Right now it is August the 23rd and by the time that I'm uploading this, hopefully it will still be late August and that means that a lot of you guys are going back to school. And it's a really exciting time. I know a lot of you incoming freshmen are starting your CS coursework or some of you incoming seniors are just finishing up your CS coursework and you're so close to graduation. You may be in high school and you're taking a computer science course and getting excited about that. And so wherever you are in your computer science coursework, one thing that really helped me when I was going through college and getting through my assignments and quizzes and tests and all that stuff that seems to pile up when you're studying computer science is online resources. There are a lot of videos and forums that I could go to and get all this information that, about the assignments that I was working on and the different concepts and it really helped me out. And I started to think, you know, with all of you guys going back to school and me being just a little bit bored because I'm a post-grad and I don't have school to worry about at the moment, I started to think, well, what can I do with some of my free time? And the thought that I came to was, aha, let me do your homework. I know, I know it sounds kind of strange, but I really like explaining things and I feel like if there's a concept or a topic that you're working on, like data structures, algorithms, object-oriented programming, any of those things that come up during CS course lectures and you aren't really finding an explanation that makes sense or for some reason it's just not clicking, then feel free to send it my way. Uh, leave a comment down below and drop your question or whatever you want to know more about and I will try my best to explain it. Now there are a couple ground rules and I have them written down right here, hence why I have my iPad. First and foremost, please only submit questions that are at or below an undergraduate computer science level. Well, graduate level computer science is super neat. A primary slice of the audience that's going to be watching this video is undergrad CS students, so we want to answer questions that are pertinent to them. Secondly, I will say that I'm pretty solid on Java, C++, and PHP, so if you have assignments that are in those languages, then I'll probably be more help than assignments that are in other languages. I don't mind going into the basics of some languages, stuff that I can pick up pretty quickly, but if it starts getting really, really abstract and that sort of thing, then I may have to do the assignment in one language, kind of talk about the different structures and the overall kind of flow of the program, and then you kind of have to translate that into your language of choice. So that's kind of a workaround or meeting halfway if I don't know the language off the top of my head. And thirdly, problems will be picked at my discretion, so I will obviously answer questions that I can answer. I'm not going to answer questions that I have no idea about, but ideally if I know of a resource or something that can help you out with a question that I don't know the answer to, then I'll provide that as well. And it'll be gauged on popularity, so if your comment has a lot of likes, then obviously those will take higher priority. And also gauged on the frequency of the topic being asked. So if everybody's asking about data structures, or everybody's asking about big O notation, or everybody's asking about object-oriented programming or some concept, then whatever is the most frequent is what I'm going to tackle first, because obviously there's a lot of people wondering about that, so I want to make sure I can address those people, because the need is there. And... Also, the third, third criteria is feasibility and ease of explanation on my part. That kind of goes back to I want to be able to explain it to you. So if I don't feel I can explain something in detail or in the way that I want to or in a way that is conducive, then I may have to pass on those topics just in case. But again, I'll try my best to find some resources to help you get on that path or get you to the path of understanding. So. So, as mentioned before, if you want to submit a question or you want to learn more about something and have me possibly explain it on a future video, leave a comment down below and then tell all your friends to like it or comment on it so that it gets kind of moved towards the top and I'll of course be looking for the ones that are the most popular and the most frequent. So, if you see a topic that you really want to have explained and you haven't suggested it but somebody else has, then make sure to leave a comment or leave a like on that comment so your voice can be heard. And also, I was also thinking that we could possibly do a question and answer video, a QA video. So separate from like computer science problems and stuff like that, if you guys have any questions for me about you know, going to, through computer science in college or what it's like just being in college in general, that sort of thing, I'm happy to answer those questions as well. Uh, leave a comment below and just say Q and A video or I want a Q and A video and my question is da 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 da. 
So that'll be a separate video, separate from these sort of walkthroughs or letting me do your homework, as I'm, I'm calling it. So if and same sort of story with uh, homework questions. If you want a video to, or if you want your question answered during a Q&A video, just drop a comment, have it liked by a couple of people, and then I will get around to answering those in a future video. Also, I was wondering if you guys would be interested in me possibly doing like a live stream so I could open up like a Twitch channel or a YouTube channel or not a whole new YouTube channel, but I could actually stream when I'm working on these problems. So if there's actually like a programming problem that we're working on, I can show you how I sort of think and process through a programming challenge and what tools that I use and what resources that I use to find the solutions in real time so you guys can kind of see me code and maybe take some ideas or some habits that I use and put it into your own programming practice. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely leave a, a comment below. So it seems like all of these things come back to comments. So the comment section is where it's at. It, let your voice be heard down there. But I would love to do live streams uh, a couple times a week or uh, maybe for an hour or two a week and just work on programming problems and interact with you guys live. So that would be a lot of fun. And yeah, that's really it. So like I said, let me do your homework. If you have a question or something that comes up during class and you'd like to hear my explanation for it, then I will give it my best shot. If you want to ask a separate question where it's just about a day in the life sort of stuff or you know what it's like being a computer science student, what it's like being a college student in general, then I'll be happy to answer those in a separate Q&A video. And thirdly, if you guys are interested in the live stream where I do coding projects or you know actually start coding in real life so you can see how I do it, then feel free to let me know. I'd, I'd love to do that, and if the interest is there, I'm more than happy then to stream a couple hours a week doing that. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will finish off in the regular way, and that is me saying, always remember that you are wanted, you are loved, and you are appreciated. You have a special talent that nobody else has, and the world is waiting on you to bring it out. So muster a little courage, go out into the world, and change it. That's what the world's waiting on. You. Hey there ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate you giving me a little bit of time out of your day. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, leave a thumbs down. I learn just as much from the dislikes as I do from the likes. And if you want to continue the conversation, leave a comment down below. You can talk about just about anything from cat videos on to computer science questions or whatever is weighing on your mind. And if you want to follow me on social media, I've got links to my various social medias. I would love it if we could connect on those platforms and you can keep track of me and what I've been up to outside of the YouTube realm and possibly get a sneak peek into projects that I'm working on before they air here on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take it easy.